Okay, welcome back to Nat 20, everybody. Our, as I should call it, Bat 20, our Halloween special. Uh, we're on our second episode now. Uh, just a quick recap. Uh, last session, everyone was meeting together at Camp Fear on the final night before the beginning of the arrival of the children in the morning. They all split off to do separate activities and just enjoy their evening before work started. Uh, several weird things occurred. Uh, first of all, we had... Brother Ferguson apparently summoned something evil inside a cabin. <laughs> we had uh, William uh, try to go fishing, only to hear a loud bang as Ultimate Frisbee with Trent and Kenneth took an awful turn towards a possible fight with Scary Gary and his girlfriend? Question mark, Nessa? Some bird shanked. Yeah, <laughs> so, someone getting shanked. Uh, anyway, uh, where we left off was Brother Ferguson and Riku... Uh, having an encounter with a hulking figure with a machete in the woods. <laughs> At first they tried to fight, and then both decided that it was probably best to flee, after, especially Riku after having a little episode where he attempted to kill Brother Ferguson with a yeah, broken a fishing rod. A member of the holy. Yeah, you're very holy, aren't you? <laughs> All right, so we're going to start where it matters most, which is tr uh, Trent and Kenneth. Yes! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> the stars of the show. Where we left off, Scary Gary, in his embarrassed anger at being caught with his pants down, quite literally, yeah. uh, has hoisted Trent into the air and slammed him into the bay door of the boathouse because you uh, told him that Trent was better at catching frisbees than he was. Well, he which was. really he... pissed Scary Gary off. Yeah, well, you should have played catch with me, man. Um... <laughs> Uh, as that's happening, I look across quickly at Nessa and make eye contact, and I'm like, Nessa, sup, girl? <laughs> she goes, um, sup! <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> I, turn, I turn back uh, to, to <laughs> Scary Gary. Uh, wait, is there anything around me that I can use as an object of, of a weapon? Um, so you're in the boathouse. Uh, there are a few cabins strewn around. Uh, cabins. Canoes. There are a few. <laughs> Fucking hit him with a canoe, dude. <laughs> there are canoes, and with each canoe is a separate oar. Uh, there's a back kind of uh, metal shelving unit. So on the back wall, that's where they have tools for repairing the boats. That's where they have some uh, lake safety gear. So you have some. Uh, Floaties, uh, nice. life vests, uh, a few more oars, uh, a toolbox, a bunch of stuff. Uh, you see a screwdriver, you see a hammer, um, and there's some pieces of plywood off to the side. Otherwise, not much. Maybe if you, were, if you Are you looking for like a weapon? Can I grab an oar that's near? Yes, me? you absolutely okay. can. Okay. I'm going to gonna... take the oar. Yeah. You now have a plus two two handed weapon. Nice. <laughs> what wow. the fuck? <laughs> All right. Right. You deal 1d12 plus strength bludgeoning damage with an ore. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. It is two-handed, though, so it requires both hands to... I hope Scary Gary never gets that weapon. <laughs> Scary Gary's distracted, and Trent has peed himself. <laughs> um, Wait. Yeah, Trent peed himself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I, I approach Scary Gary, and I'm going to try to intimidate him. I'm going to be like... Gary, bro, you can't just be throwing my boy Trent around and be fucking Nessa. <laughs> Russ, I will throw you and fuck you. That's what I say. <laughs> Roll an intimidation check. Oh my god. Uh, 19. 19. You see Scary Gary stop. You can't see his face. He's not looking at you right now. But then he lets go of Trent and Trent crumples like a trash bag he just falls the fucking floor <laughs> uh <laughs> broken but um he turns around and he's like what'd you say to scary kid and then he sees you standing there with an oar and like this fierce angry animalistic stare and he goes whoa dude put down the oar i'm s you don't need it we don't want any trouble I'm sorry i banged your girlfriend <laughs> I wish I was smarter. I have such a good pun, but I like. <laughs> you can say it if you want. No, it's not in character. I was gonna say or what, you know. But... <laughs> All right, that's right. very good. That's but... perfect for Kim. <laughs> anyway, what? scary Gary just um, like backs up. Yeah, he like actually just steps on Trent as he's like backing away. He I, I, put I, down I, the ore, bro. 
I say to uh, Scary Guy, I'm like, bro, I like you, but you can't be doing this. <laughs> like, we can go and play catch, and, like, I'm not trying to diss your catching skills, bro. You're just being really hostile. <laughs> and if you're, you're going to mess with my boy, Trent, and uh, going to get all mad and scary, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you rolled a 19 Let to make this work. Um, yeah, um, Scary Gary just like, he goes, you're right, man. I'm sorry. I was totally, I was banging out of line, but I was trying to bang a chick. No, so- dude, I respect that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear Nessa just kind of like squeak behind you like, hey, I'm right here. You don't need to say it like that right in front of me. <laughs> You know what they say in the bro code? <laughs> what do they say? What do they say, Kenneth? Say it, Kenneth. Say it, Kenneth. We're going to have to edit this out if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the problem, what? Kenneth? No, because he's like, say it or up to edit this out. And oh. then I was testing him, calling his bluff. Oh, okay. I guess uh, I just say, you know what they say? Bros before girls. <laughs> <laughs> Scary Gary goes like, it's a good point. And then Too I, like, bad I, we're not bros. And he's going to push you. Oh, bug. He, se- he sensed a moment. Uh, oh, fuck. Two? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, Ooh. Scary Gary goes to push you when he thinks you're distracted. Uh, and you just neatly step to the side, and he tumbles face first into one of the canoes. His pants still haven't quite buckled. I'm going to smack his ass with the oar. <laughs> <laughs> his pants have fallen down, and his, his perfect oh, athletic booty is completely <laughs> free. Um, roll, with, roll to attack with advantage, because he's prone. Sweet. Oh my god, dude. He's getting the initiation. You're going to dominate this dude. <laughs> Trent, close Am your I, eyes. I'm going to bang this man. He's doing a different kind of dominant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With advantage. Uh, 17. Yeah, 17. Okay, you hit him. Uh, with a resounding clap. Uh, <laughs> uh, of wood against flesh. And then a... Um, as Scary Gary's voice hits an octave higher than normal. And then as you pull the war away, there's a... Nasty looking welt, and then you see you feel a hand on your arm, and you turn, and there's Nessa. She's like, That was the hottest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> She's giving you some eyes right now, Kenneth. Uh, and Trent says, We should go before he gets back up, or he'll kick the shit out of us. And Nessa says, Yeah, Trent, you should leave. And then she looks at you, Kenneth, and she says, And we should go somewhere. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, you are not charmed. Uh, but you know that she's tried to charm you. Uh, not like a spell. She was giving you the fuck me eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not fooled, though. You understand that like you can't just you just beat this guy up and he's probably going to come back. You can't really afford the time to do any banging. Uh, but so you f- Only the banging of fists. Exactly. Uh, are you going to leave then? No. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to um, stick my ground, dude. You're this, waiting. I'm going to intimidate. Or in hand. Yeah. Waiting. Yeah. And you hear... More footsteps scuffling against the cement pad of the entryway as William, who see through the door, <laughs> a strange sight. <laughs> Trent is crumpled on the floor, scrambling to get to his feet. Nessa's uh, shirt has magically disappeared. Just, She's only wearing her bra and her pants. I don't and, notice them. Uh, do I hear them come up or? Uh, you heard the footsteps, yeah. Okay, but, but I st- I'm gonna I'm gonna say, do you want more, Gary? <laughs> And then you see Scary Gary bent over a canoe, his ass in the air, okay. freshly welted, as <laughs> Kenneth stands over with an oar well, and says that. As I'm walking up to the door, I'm like, I yell out, uh, what's going on here? And then as I look inside, I just kind of pause. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, I feel up, like I don't Kenneth. need to be here. I don't need to be here. <laughs> and I leave. <laughs> Okay. As you turn around, you see uh, way off in the distance. You only see because they're not really hiding at all. Is Riku booking it down the pathway towards the boathouse? 
And then we'll cut over to you, Todd, really quick. You had just hit shore. You almost drowned because you tried to swim from the one end of the lake to the other. Your arms are sore. You're exhausted. And you have no clothes except for your underwear, and you're soaking wet. Yeah, I realized that I don't have anything I had in my pocket, so I, I'm like, fuck. And go start to run back to where I left my coats. coats. Okay, make a survival check. Survival. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 17. Okay, you managed to navigate your way through the... This is a dense... Well, it's not a large part of the woods, but it's oh, easy okay. to get a little twisted around. So uh, you do manage to navigate your way back to the <laughs> the pathway and make your way back to your clothes. You can pick okay. them up. Okay. Um, you heard... As you were making your way through the woods, you heard rushing footsteps and you notice like a blur run along the path. You don't know who it was. You don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then farther away... Roll a perception check. <laughs> One. That's the worst. That's not a nat one. That's just a one. <laughs> just a. Oh, yeah, no unfor- one's got a nat one thus far. Unfortunately, I don't think so. For those, and so, nat twenty is a. Ooh, yeah. Uh, well, nat one is a. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> a fucking shriek, a yeah. scream. Anyway, um, so never mind. You don't hear anything. You just make your way to your clothes and you put them back on. Okay. Uh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, I see that. No- I'd probably see that no one's, like, in this area anymore, right? No, nope. and surprisingly, only half the fishing rod is still there. <laughs> you don't know where the other half is? <laughs> Looks like it was hastily snapped. You see Does scuffling footmarks, like, like... sharp or anything like that? Make a perception check. Four. You see nothing. Okay. <laughs> you don't you, even see the you, fishing you, rod. All you, all you see is, uh... Uh... Ooh, did you take the tackle box with you? It's still sitting there. You see a tackle box. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look in it. Uh, I would assume it's locked. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, it's a tackle box. It's not really going to be locked. That's fine. Uh, so, yeah, you you go to the tackle box, and you open it up, and you see... And you tackle it. Uh, some, some fishing gear. You see some hooks. You see uh, bait, a little jar of worms, uh, some extra line, and a gun. <laughs> With the trigger guard. With the trigger guard. Okay. Uh, uh, what kind of gun? Just a Glock. Just a Glock. <laughs> An just a classic it's just, Glock. It's sitting there right classic next to the Glock. bait, like it's completely normal. Okay. Yeah, I I take the gun. <laughs> I take some of the fishing line and I take take some of the. Uh, uh, someone well. has a gun now. This is All right, your pockets Todd's are gonna... loaded with deadly weapons. Uh, and where are you heading from there? Uh. Turning into the Hunger Games. Do I <laughs> see where anyone is? Uh, no, you would not. All you saw was that blur moment. And before I forget, uh, that is a plus three gun, and you found 25 pieces of ammo. Todd, Todd Lee's gonna gun gun you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna close the tackle box as if, as it was before, and then I guess just run towards the towards where everyone was. The boathouse? Yeah. Okay, you make your way down there. You uh, have the gun in your hand? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's okay, because there's a trigger guard on it. Yeah, it's safe. Okay, so we're going to say Riku would probably just reach the boathouse yeah. a few minutes after you started following after him. Yeah. But before we get to that, we have Brother Ferguson, who is also on the run. <laughs> Which way yeah. you're headed? Uh, to the church. You're running towards the church? Running towards the church. Okay. Um, With the you doesn't look like... in your hand. Yeah. It's, and it's, the whip in the other <laughs> and, and Trent's coat <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's winter, winter coat that he brought in the middle of summer you like just are doing all this weird shit and like pretty much no one has realized except for fucking Riku yeah. which you almost you stabbed him fucking yeah. Very interesting. Like he was wearing the jacket, otherwise it would have actually hurt. Thank God. <laughs> um but you're running and weirdly enough you look behind, you see the hulking figure. Kind of like he's not walking. He's like a like light jog. You feel like you should have outrun him forever ago, but every time you turn, he's still sixty feet behind you, following you. Nope. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> and you can see just up through the trees because you're not taking the path. Um, you can see the beginnings of like light shimmering through the thick branches as it's getting super dark now and the moon is starting to rise. Uh, but yeah, you can see the light. So you no survival check needed. You've okay. done this path twice now, so okay. Um, I'm gonna hustle just slightly a little harder um, okay. to see if I make any distance between. Roll this. an athletics check. Yeesh! I should have done that. Oh, maybe I should have. 
Uh, 19. 19, good. You pick up the pace a little bit. It hurts, but you know, this is life or death. Uh, and the, the figure behind you slowly fades. And you're not... It was like kind of like a... doesn't really slow down. It just disappears. Okay. After you pick up the pace. So you're not sure if they're still following you, or if they went away, or what happened. Compared to what you did into in the cabin, though, you, you're not sure what this could be. Like you, if you can summon evil voices, this man could probably teleport. <laughs> yeah. But you make it to the church, straggling, huffing, and puffing. Uh, the moon is just creeping over the tips of the treetops now, and it's shining down on the walkway, and you can see the yellow light of the oil lantern from the man's church. Still don't see him in the grave, though. He hasn't gone outside to the graveyard yet. All right. Um, I will... Uh, yeah, I'll go over to the grave. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll take off the coat and I'll put it on one of the graves. Um, I'll also put the mag in, like, the coat pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Save this for later. Yeah. Um, Wait, you put the what in the coat pocket? Uh, the magazine. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, right. I'll put it in the coat pocket. Um, and, yeah, then I'll take my whip and I'll... If you're in the graveyard, that's at the back of the church, right? Yeah, you would have had to go over the black gate and then over the chain link, but you, it's not hard. You can do it easily enough. It's not like you expect someone to break into a graveyard. So, <coughs> it's uh, I'm going to take my whip and I'm going to crack it against the wood uh, siding of the church and I'm going to book it out of there. You're just going to... Okay. Uh, with a resounding crack and then you see like a uh, marking left against the wood side and then you hear a, a muffled shout from inside and you damn kids! Uh, and then you're just going to run back? Yeah, I'm going to run back over the gate. And okay, now you have to roll an athletics check. You're yeah. doing it in a hurry. You're rushing it, so. The Lord. Oh. It's not on your side. <laughs> Six. <laughs> uh, you make it over the fence. Your shirt, though, catches the edge and sends you tumbling, and you land face first. Oh. And then you hear the back door slam open. What do you do? Uh, I'm going uh, to pick myself up, scuffle off the dirt, and get into the trees. You're going to try and hide? Uh, yeah, behind his tree, but keep an eye and okay. see what roll, he's doing. Roll just a quick stealth check. Then. Okay. Oh, fuck. I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> That's a nine. A nine? Yeah. He sees you. You rush to hide behind the tree. You think you're good. You peek around to spy on him. He's staring right at you. <laughs> he goes, why can't you fucking leave me alone, you creepy kid? Get- what? what? You left your jacket. And he makes his way over to the coat. Are you going to stick around? Or- father, father. You are? Okay. No, in that coat Run pocket, in. <laughs> I've brought you <sighs> some bad news. <laughs> bad news? One Please. of the campers here is committing a sin. I don't care! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about this damn camp! But father, you're a priest, you should care. I stopped caring this a long time ago. Has been, son- no, he's been taken by the devil. I'm taken by you. the he is having some dark force in his head, making him read the magazine in that coat. Slowly, he's hesitant. He doesn't know what the hell is going on, but he'll reach in, he pulls it out. You see him, like, unroll the magazine, look for about a second, and then you hear a, Whoa! and he, like, <laughs> drops it, and he's like, oh, Lord, have mercy on his soul. Do you see what I am what I mean? Secretly shows it into s- his pocket. <laughs> I see what you mean, but why, why would you bring this to me? This isn't my business. I, 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 I'm, I, I've given up my priestly ways. I tend to my graveyard. I, I live here. And this is where I stay. I, I don't do this as much anymore. Why can't you damn children just leave me alone? I'm tired of the murder. Father, you've devoted your life to the Lord. You can't just simply quit. Faith works in mysterious ways, my child. You should know this as a man of the cloth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. Well, then... Allow me to do the work that you have given up. Allow you... me to carry on your legacy and purge this child of all sins. Well, knowing the tradition of this campground, I he won't need to be purged by the end of the night. And no, then you won't. see him pick up the magazine and the coat, toss it over the gate towards you, and he'll start making his way to the door. You'll all be dead by morning. Nice. Why? What? Wait, father! <laughs> He stops, and he says, What? Why do you say that? Haven't you heard the stories? I have not heard any stories, Father. There's a reason everyone gave your your head coordinator, Justin, so much trouble for building some silly camp on here. 
murders every time someone tries to set up camp. Every time, damn it, every time. Well, perhaps we can go inside the church and talk about this over tea. I don't invite strangers to my home. The last time, I took me weeks to fucking scrub the blood out of the carpet. <laughs> Father, <laughs> you're scaring me. <laughs> you should be scared, my son. A blood in blood in the church. What blood? What happened? What are the stories? The stories are that every time a coordinator comes, he brings his counselors, and before the kids even arrive, they're all found dead in the morning in horrible, vicious ways. Terrible. I saw one strung up in a tree. His innards were choking him. Another one I found drowned in the lake with his feet cut off. It was plenty of fucked up shit. You can see why I don't preach anymore. <laughs> uh, um, Father... <laughs> Well, that is most disgusting. You know, I, that's, you know, right. Well, I'm going to hold on to that information. I'm going to wish, uh, I'm going to praise to the Lord that this will not happen to them. This is terrible news, most terrible. I do not like this news at all. It very much makes me um, disgusted and hurtful. And I, well, again, I don't like this. Make a perception at check. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 17. As you're rambling on, you do see crawling over the chain link fence behind uh, Father Nicholas. Oh, I gave his name. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Father Nicholas, uh, the hulking figure that it had stalked you in the woods, and it's making its way slowly towards the man who's staring at you. Uh, Father! What? <laughs> Father, if behind you, you give me one more damn you, question, I've had enough of the. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, all of a sudden, the hand grasps the back of Father Nicholas's neck and, like, lifts him high up in the air with unnatural strength. And then you see him flailing and, like, throwing his arms and trying to claw as the hulking figure drags him through the graveyard. And with one heavy swing of his arm, slams the old man's face into the nearest tombstone. You hear a sickening crunch and a like, splatter of blood. Just, like, how sick of a crunch? Like, zero, like, like zero to Captain Crunch. <laughs> Anyway, you hear a sickening <laughs> crunch, and blood splatter, and you're horrified. This isn't what you expected, but it's not over kind because he lifts up the father again and smashes his face again and again and again and again, and he's not stopping until it's unrecognizable. There's blood everywhere. The father's body's tossed aside and crumpled, and it stands at full height as the moon reaches up over top of the trees. Now you can see a ghostly pale face you're not sure you can't make out any details and just like a blue uh blue uh flannel shirt and dark jeans and that same red machete in the one hand he wasn't using and he's just staring at you as blood pools around his souls now now everyone's equal in the eyes of the lord <laughs> just stare there is you can be brought back <laughs> But hold on, I'm just going to, and I'm going to run. <laughs> I'm going to chase soon. you. All right, I'm going to run. I'm going to, I'm going <clears> to <throat> change the sound of my my voice, and I'm going to let out a very gnarly scream as I'm running through the woods. Okay, are you trying to attract attention? Yes, as much as I can, and I'm going to scream. <laughs> well, okay, okay, let's see on the map. Unfortunately, there's no one around to hear you scream <laughs> i'm still gonna <laughs> scream as i run and i'm gonna run uh, which way I so i know which way are you running are um, you to? i would probably be running to the lake to the lake yeah okay sounds good uh Let's we'll make see. it back to you guys uh riku you have just made it up to the boathouse yes. you see uh walking towards you you see william looking disturbed <laughs> And a little confused, and you hear, like, you see, like, the bay door still, like, rumbling back and forth, and you hear voices inside, and then Trent scrambles out through the door, and he goes, Ah! Oh, I just wanted to play Frisbee! <laughs> and then you see Nessa walk out as well with no shirt on, just her bra and her pants. Oh, Apparently she's completely forgotten about her top at this point. Uh, but that's it. That's all you see. But they're leaving the room like something's going on in there. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to stop and stare at Nessa for a minute. <laughs> holy shit. Um... <laughs> she is a lovely figure. Yeah, wow, that's that's awesome. I yeah, I just gotta I'm just gonna appreciate that for a minute. Okay. And uh, then I'm taken by curiosity. Uh, so he's gonna go and draw his fake sword that he had. His stick. Yeah. His stick. <laughs> What's he doing with it? He's just gonna draw it. 
And then he's going to walk towards the shed because he hears like the noise coming from inside. Right? Okay. Hold on, son. You don't want to look in there. <laughs> you hear a whack and a ah! <laughs> Once again, I don't think you're talking to me because I'm not your son. <laughs> <laughs> so I just keep walking. It's okay. your funeral, kid. <laughs> you turn the corner, you look to the door, and what does he see? Uh, well, I'm, st- like, I'm still hitting, uh, uh, what's his nuts? Gary. Scary Gary. Yeah. Well, like, I hit him the once, and he, like, he, did he get back up after? Uh, and, like, he's struggling to get out of the canoe now. All right, well, he's, if he's still there, and, and if his ass is still showing, I, I'm, thy might strike it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you easily hit. At this point, it's not even, like, damaging. You're just paddling the poor lad. Uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm saying, I'm like, have you had enough, Gary? Uh, for a moment, there's, like, s- silence, and then he goes, fuck you, <laughs> as he pushes himself up and turns around and tries to backhand you. Oh. So, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. That's what I'm good at. Six. <laughs> he clocks you across the face, oh. and you don't let go. It's not a hard hit. He's more flustered than anything, so you just take a few steps back, still holding your oar. All right. And he says, you want to fight, bitch? Gary. (laughs) My bro. I'm not your bro. You just fucking spanked me in front of the hottest (laughs) girl I've ever met. (laughs) That goes against all bro code ever. Gary, my bro. (laughs) I don't want to have to fight you, but I will. (laughs) I'm going to jab him with the... Or because like he, I keep having I'm like a few steps back, right? Yeah, you so can I'm gonna like go and like man. jab him, like try to hit, it, like push him in the chest to see if he'll like okay, roll to fall hit. against something. Oh, oh so uh, plus two, I believe I said it was yes. Yeah, plus two plus weapon. Plus two or yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Bullshit. Using <laughs> using strength. Uh, ten. So that's eleven plus my strength. Am I add your strength oh. modifier? Yeah, it makes a one. So your strength's a one. Yeah. Plus one. Okay. Yeah. So plus two. So thirteen. Yeah. Okay, Sorry. Uh, that hits just barely. You just kind of like get him between the pecs. Yeah, he like flexes. And he like kind of takes it. He goes, "Is that the best you got?" And then he suddenly like relaxes as he sees Riku looks at the door with a horrified look on his face. I see what's going on, and I, I fucking hate Gary. Okay, <laughs> like I'm just seething with jealousy because I saw him go off with Ness earlier. <laughs> and I think Kenneth is okay. He's like, I think he's kind of an idiot, but he's 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 a good enough dude. And I see Kenneth going out with Gary. I'm like, this is my time. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna take my the, my sword that I have, the stick, the, the, my sword that I have, and <laughs> I'm gonna engage Gary. And his pants are still down. His pants are still down. Okay, I'm gonna slap him right in the dick. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> You're a weird guy. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Roll a D4. Why? Three. Three? You don't do that. Instead, you take your stick, Slap you your see that you flip off Scary Gary, you turn around and you walk straight to Nessa. Okay. All right. Self confidence has hit up. Oh, fucking fuck. peak. All right. Right now. All right. You just saw the cool guy at camp get paddled by the <laughs> idiot. <laughs> by the and second I, coolest guy. The second fuck, coolest yeah. guy, and Nessa right. has no shirt on. What's to lose? Okay. I, I sheath my fucking sword. I flip off Gary. I'm like, fuck you, Gary. <laughs> and then I walk over to Nessa, grab her ass, <laughs> since they're occupied. You want to go skedaddle in the bushes? Roll a persuasion check. Okay. With advantage. 11. That's more than enough for her. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. She kind of yelps because she wasn't expecting that. And she's like, okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm not really into weebs much, but I'm willing to give anything a shot. <laughs> Ask one Kenneth. Time's all time's. And, then <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to just, uh, where are you going to take her? Uh, we're going to go off into the nearest dark portion of the bush and fucking okay there's several other nice places but the bush works for her too uh yeah you'll just like carry out i'm okay well i saw gary and us do i'm like i'm I'm gonna do a better job than gary so (laughs) (laughs) she turns you got protection 
<laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Stupid question. <laughs> and then she'll take your hand and she'll lead you into the woods. Oh my god, dude. I'm fully erect. <laughs> <laughs> Scary Gary, you see him, his face is beat red with absolute rage as some little weeb nerd has just stolen the hottest chicken camp. Uh, and he, um, he's not even going to try and fight you anymore. He's going to shoulder past you because he's like, oh, I'm going to get that little fucking punk. I'm going to slap him. Uh, before you do that, you have just arrived now, heading up. You've met with William. You guys are about 100 feet away from the scene. You see Kenneth and Scary Gary at like, the door. You see Trent running towards his safety pack as fast as his little legs can carry him. And then you see, amazingly, Riku just slap Ness on the ass and then they walk away into the woods. And now the two of you are staring at each other. I'm just bewildered at this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just trying to take in what's actually happening. <laughs> you guys are watching? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, that's fine. <laughs> Get it. Uh, so, like, when he shoulders past me, is he, like, walking out the door not even paying attention to me? He's not even gonna try and pay attention. He's he's one-track mine, and those are boobs. As soon as he, like, (laughs) pushes me out of the way and turns and doesn't face me, I'm gonna take the oar and swipe it across and, like, nail him in the head. Oh, Oh, shit! Roll the head, roll the head. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'll say advantage, because he's not even trying to dodge. Okay, that's... not paying attention. That's a 12. And that's a 12 again. That, That hits just barely. Okay, sweet. Uh, you clock him the side of the head, and it's a hard enough hit, and then his head, like, flails aside and smashes into the hinge of the door, <laughs> and he just collapses. You have knocked Scary Gary completely out. Oh, yes. God. Then I say... You see blood trickling out of his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared uh, now? <laughs> <laughs> he says nothing. <laughs> He's that, kind of Gary. That's when I run up and check up on uh, Gary. Roll a medicine check. Don't wake him up yet. Give me like seven minutes. <laughs> 22. 22. Uh, he has a serious concussion. Yo. He's not dead. He's breathing fine. The blood is never a good sign, but you know, a hit like that, blood coming out of the ear, he's got a concussion. Well, okay, like... I just smoked this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Trent is like picked up his bag. He can barely see, but he saw Scary Gary fall and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is. And then. Roll a perception check, all of you. 16. 17. 19. You all see the hulking figure heading towards Trent. He's jumping up and down, cheering. This big, bulky frame. None of you have seen it yet, uh, but uh, it's just walking along the beach shoreline. Can just I... like a leisure pace straight towards Trent, who doesn't see it at all. Can I shout to Trent? Who is that? I don't uh, say anything. You don't say anything? Yo, Trent, watch out for that bro behind you. <laughs> Trent's like, what? That bro behind you. Uh, <laughs> Trent turns and he sees this figure as it's raising its machete in the air. And Trent's like, oh, fucking Star Wars. And he like, runs forward. <laughs> and the machete. Please miss my boy, Trent. What the fuck? No. He has him right in the <laughs> Nose. Oh, poor Trent. <laughs> oh! Oh! Trent, <laughs> Trent just got hit by a uh, oh, oh, <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. There goes our healer. That's a lot of damage. But he and brought along takes... two med kits. I told you he'd be useful, even if he died. Takes 16 points of damage. Ooh. Uh, he's not dead, but he's not feeling too hot. Um, you see the machete, like, cleave through his shoulder and then rip out of his back and blood spurts. And, like, now he's, like, running with a hunch. His his right arm dead against his side and he's running straight towards you. He's like, oh, my God! I'm bleeding! Oh, fuck! Roll a perception check. With disadvantage, you're busy. Uh, 14. 14? You do hear screaming, just as Ness is getting her pants off. <laughs> I ignore it. That is, like, that was, I'm going to do that anyway. You ignore <laughs> it. Nessa doesn't hear. Uh, you two continue about your business. You're way too excited now. This is the, this is your first moment ever of something oh like God, this. Dude, You've been waiting all really camp happening. week for this. Is, is my ore badly damaged? No. Oh, it's sweet. It's just a dude. Um, at, at this time, I'm, I'm going to yell out. Okay, everyone in the fucking boathouse now! Are you gonna drag Gary's foreman? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you guys see I'm... burst of the tree line. Brother Ferguson. 
fucking <laughs> whipping it. Uh, you see a he's screaming. something on his hip. He's yelling uh, and he's screaming like a little girl. And he's running straight towards you. He's like, what do you say? Uh, as soon as I get up to them, I'm going to switch to strictly calm <laughs> and collected and stop my screaming. Hello, brothers and sisters. <laughs> And that's Get in you, the fucking boathouse! <laughs> and that's when you see, you look off to the side, you see Trent whip past you into the thing, and you look and you see that hulking figure again, which amazes you, how did he get here so fast? But there he is, walking calmly towards you guys from the beach. I can get a slight grin as I go in the boathouse. Okay. <laughs> Yo, we have to save Trent, bros. <laughs> Trent's already in the fucking boathouse. He ran no, his Oh, he fish. ran in there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought he, he meant like he, he was running and when he saw him. No. Okay, no, then I head in the boathouse. <laughs> Okay, so you're all in the boathouse? I say two of us should go and find Ness and, uh, sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, Riku. Riku. <clears throat> Where are they? They're in danger. They went into the woods somewhere. What have they done? <laughs> okay, I don't know, I, I don't think you want to know. You <laughs> might not like what it is. Oh, I'm it's sinful. More... I'm a child of the Lord. It's sinful. It is. Very well, we have to find them right Okay, stop you guys God. stay here. <laughs> I up to us to go. I also need to see Nessa. She said she wanted to go with me some ways. <laughs> some, <laughs> some place. And like, I want to know what she was talking about. Well, I have to stop these sinful acts. I cannot have us here becoming sinful, devious devils. Here, take a oar and <laughs> let's go find them. I do not holster weapons. All right. And that's when you notice the hip at his, the whip at his hip. The no one wearing his jacket. He can't hide it. Yo, where'd you get that sweet whip, bro? <laughs> you mean my sin killer? <laughs> at that point, you hear Trent like clamoring against the tool, uh, uh, shelving unit as like you guys are standing at the doorway and this hulking figure is still There's- approaching. Slowly picking up speed and says, Fucking lock the door! <laughs> I close the door. Close the door. <clears throat> Does anyone have a key? Yo. <laughs> Gary's <laughs> got the key around his neck. Go grab After it. After I completely knocked him <laughs> out. I'm assuming you dragged Scary Gary into the. Oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> well, then, no, he dragged him yeah, in. Yeah, oh, right. you dragged him in? Yeah. yeah, there's a cord. And the key's just so, around his neck. It's okay. so weird you not being chaotic. <laughs> like, I yeah, fully expected you just to <laughs> leave him. I'll grab the key and I'll lock the door. You twist the key into the lock and you hear a satisfying click just as you hear a loud bang as the fist connects to it. And it continues bang, bang for an, a, like a scary amount of time before it just suddenly stops. And then you hear the bay door rattle once Metal against metal, and then it stops, and you hear footsteps, and then they slowly begin to dissipate until you hear nothing, except the gentle lapping waves of the lake, okay. and you're all left alone in the boathouse with Scary Gary. His pants are gone, his little willy's hanging out, and his ass is <laughs> as red as a fucking feet. <laughs> Unconscious, still groaning in his disturbed sleep. Trent is cowering in the corner, bleeding profusely from his shoulder wound. Does he have his backpack? He did, he had it on his other shoulder. Okay, sweet. Um, He's not looking so hot right now, though. Trent, my guy, uh, don't didn't you bring any medical kits in your backpack? Yeah, I brought two. Ah, uh, I don't know how much to help with fucking this, though, man. <laughs> Just stay still. I'll help you out. Where are they? Uh, he hands you his backpack and he says, "There's a couple in there." Fuck. I'll uh, open up the med kit. I'll try patching them up. Uh, so. So guys are going to probably chop off your head. Yeah, the people I usually have sex die first. Okay, so... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm stealthy in everything I do. <laughs> okay, so you're going to help him. Uh, so I need you to make a medicine check. Twelve. Twelve? Okay, so you heal him for 1d6 hit points. So he regains six hit points. Nice. Um, so, what you, so, you take out the gauze, it's a, it's a hefty, it's like a, it's not like a little, like, little silly red kit with the white cross yeah. on it you get from scouts, like, it's an actual medicine kit, like, this is a paranoid nerd, he has a full kit, you get some gauze out, you try and clean the wound as best you can, uh, you just wrap plenty of gauze around it, you tell him to keep pressure as much as possible and try not to move, you don't really have any tools to stitch him up, it's not necessarily a terrible wound, it, the blade only went a little deep into his skin and it didn't like go all the way around. It's not like his shoulders like hanging off his body. It's just God. a deep cut. But you know that too much moving and it'll cause too much ruptures. 
But you have everything you need to patch him up proper so he can walk around. Cool. Okay, Trent. Just don't move, and you won't die. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a professional. Trust me. I feel kind of woozy. <laughs> well, there's it, not, it's not much we can do. Um, uh, I'll, I'll reach into my... And he passes uh, out. <laughs> that solves that problem. Okay. I'll kind of prop him up against a canoe or something. Okay. Um, the sound. There's still no sound outside. It is just the four of you, because Scary Gary's passed out, Trent has passed out. Alright. Um, is Nessa screaming? Oh, five of you, sorry. You're there as well. Hi, I'm here. So there's a fucking murder out there. Um, I want to know. Maybe we should go find Nessa and... Sorry, I don't remember your characters. Riku. 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 Maybe we should go find Nessa and Riku and save him from the big <laughs> hunky bro with the knife. <laughs> there, are, there are also other people. There is Jessica, the other counselor. Uh, uh, there is <laughs> Justin. <laughs> and then there's Philip. There are three other people still in camp. And uh, as far as you guys know, there's also an old man attending to a church. And the sun's rising still, right? No, the moon is rising. Oh, Thank rising. you for reminding me, actually. Uh, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> Kenneth. Yeah. <laughs> Kenneth, my bro. Uh, you have to make your first uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Negative, Captain. Uh, that's why you won 20 for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you should have some stuff on you, though. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm like, we should go find them. Uh, do you have the key to unlock the door? That is a good idea, Kenneth, but with a murderer right out there right now, we should wait just a little bit. <clears throat> That's true. I'm going to go look around this boathouse for some more weapons. Good idea. I'm going to walk to the back corner. <laughs> like, walk, like, walk away a little bit. I'm going to search um, Trent's backpack, see what else he has in there. Okay. I'm going to uh, drop the whip. You're just going to drop it? Drop the whip. Okay. Uh, make a stealth check. Okay. And everyone else come back. Uh, is anyone watching him? Sort of, yeah. Okay, then make a perception check. And that'll be the one we roll. Probably just keep an eye on everyone. 24. <laughs> I was at 50. Three. Okay, you see nothing. Uh, you don't really see much. You see him walk over, like you said, to look. He's going to search, and then you see a quick... As he drinks something. No, I'm just going to assume it's alcohol. It's fucking sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you are good for the next hour. I continue my uh, search around for weapons. Okay. Because you're the boathouse... Okay, make a perception check. Uh, wow. Ooh, a bad 20. Okay, cool. <laughs> you find two more oars. Nice. Set of pliers. Yes. One hammer and a screwdriver. Um, a and so have... a set of thieves tools. Not the ones that uh, Trent had, but I'm going to take, take the thieves tools. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the hammer. Okay, the hammer is a plus one one-handed weapon. It deals 2d4 uh, plus strength bludgeoning damage. 2d4? Yeah. Sweet. Um, uh, I'm going to take the screwdriver as well. Okay, that's just a regular one-handed weapon. It does 2d4 plus your strength. Okay. But it's no plus, it's just regular. <laughs> and in Trent's bag, you find one more medicine kit, uh, 50 feet of rope. Uh, he brought his inhaler. He brought one Star Wars magazine just in case he got bored, uh, and a flashlight with extra batteries. Cool. Uh, I'll just take his whole backpack. Okay. Uh, so medicine kit is simple. You roll a medicine check, and depending on what you roll, you heal a certain amount of damage. I think uh, I, I don't have it right on me at the moment. Uh, flashlight gives you dark vision up to 50 feet. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. There's an already. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, well, you might need it, so. And the rope is just rope that you can use. Um, and the else? magazine is useless. What else did you say? There's a hammer, screwdriver, two oars, and a... You find two more oars, not including the one you have. Yeah. A set of pliers, yeah. a hammer, take, screwdriver, and the fence. take the pliers. The pliers? Yeah. Okay, they deal 1d4 bludgeoning damage. Or can be used for breaking stuff. Yeah. What does my gun deal? <laughs> the gun... <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't mentioned that, have you? Uh, so the the gun is plus three 
25 pieces of ammo, and I said a Glock to a pistol. So it's a plus one. You got a plus three, though. Plus three range weapon that deals uh, 1d8 plus your dex piercing damage. And you have 25... Plus my dex, plus three range. Yeah. Plus three uh, does two attack rolls and to damage. So. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so you add three to whatever you roll for attack, <clears throat> and then when you do damage, you also add three. Okay. Uh, and it's a dex, and it does 1d8 piercing damage. Okay, sweet. And you have 25 pieces of ammo. And you're just keeping that to yourself? Yeah. Okay. And do you tell everyone else about the ores you found? Yeah, I come back. I'm like, guys, I found two more ores, a hammer, a screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. And not the drink screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kenneth. Uh, good job. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Uh, let me know if you guys want anything. Would any of these weapons be considered finesse? Finesse, like one-handed or two-handed? No, like dex mods on your attacks. Oh, uh, no. I'll just take an ore then. Take an ore? All right, I'll go So you on. have a plus two, two-handed weapon that deals 1d12. I'll, uh, I'll hand him the ore. I'll go grab one and give him one. Okay. I'll bring the other ones from, like, wherever yeah. I found so them. So they're, in total, including ores, there are three ores. Okay, so there's one extra then. Yeah, if anyone Sweet. wants it. Um, so right now you guys are huddled up. Trent is sleeping more peacefully now as he's trying to rest after getting fucked up. Uh, Scared Gary has not moved. Like, you have really messed that poor guy up. <laughs> Dude, he wanted to fight me. I just trying to... Yeah. Bro, but uh, you guys are alone. It's getting kind of chilly outside. Um, you don't know where Nessa or Riku are. You don't know where Justin, Philip, or Jessica are. Uh, have you told him about the... The church? No. No? Then uh, some of you know about the the priest, and you're not sure what happened to him either. Um, you're alone. You can't hear anything outside except the lake. Uh, what do you do? What's the plan? I say we should go search for the others. They're in danger. Agreed. Maybe one or two people should stay here to keep an eye on Gary and Trent. I would just be cautious of the church area. Why is that? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what did you do, brother? I did not do anything. How dare you? I... No. No, I'm not talking about this. Can I inside him? If you want to, sure. I'd like to. I'm going to inside him as well. Okay. We'll 19, get to you, buddy. 16. 16? 3. Negative captain. 19. 19? Okay, so the two of you... Notice he seems disturbed about something. Like he saw something at the church. I'm going to assume he just ran into the killer. I think I'd probably assume that too. But I will say, should we go to the church first, do you think? No, you do not. No, don't go to no. the church. Stay away from the church. Don't go anywhere near the church. Would I be able to Is... contact my friends? Friends? The only <laughs> thing you have is a cell phone, possibly. Which you would have left can either I in your tackle him box him off. <laughs> or, but no, sorry, it's in your cabin. Yeah. And you know reception out here is absolute garbage. Of course it is. Damn it. Tell Plus. us. Tell us. <laughs> is, there, is there like a radio that we can contact people with? That'd be in the main hall. Okay. Where Justin and Philip are. Um, um, you were told uh, that there's every emergency to find Justin so he can call. Is the, the priest okay? My brother, I am fine. I'm a little shaken, but I'm okay. I hate you <laughs> so much. That, that's so good, dude. I'm fucking loving All right, bro. Uh, but what about the old man priest at the church? I don't want to talk about it. I already said it's a light subject. It's touchy. What did you do, Ferguson? I did not do anything, Brother William. Look, we have. We need to find the rest of the people. Look, there's a killer on the loose. Exactly. We need a... to know where everyone is, including the old man at the church. Brother Todd is right. Okay, I'll go check up on the old man. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'll go check up on the old man. William, don't. I'm warning you. I have to go to my cabin anyways to fetch some things, and I'll stop at the... If you see it, you will never be the same. I'll, I'll stop at the church and then we'll meet up at the main hall. Do you want me to come with you? Yeah, I think I should be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. There's a killer on loose. I don't I, think we should be alone. 
If someone wants to tag along, I won't stop them, but... Look, I can stay here. I can watch the two <sighs> injured folks. Everyone else can go and find the rest. I can hold down the fort. I have the Lord on my side. As long as you protect Trent, bro. Trent is such a <laughs> nice guy. I promise you so, no harm will come upon Trent under my watch. Although he is a little <laughs> geeky and nerdy and probably quite lonely. <laughs> I, he's really good at catching frisbees. Well, Gary, I do not care about. <laughs> he betrayed me and the bro code, So, Well, Kenneth, brother Kenneth, sorry. Um promise no harm will come upon Trent. I will use prayer to heal him. And when he wakes up, we will play a lovely game of Frisbee. He's really good at catching. <laughs> I'll make sure he catches them all. Awesome possum, bro. All. I I should go find Nessa and Riku. Okay, I agree. What's, okay, perfect. Uh, so who's going where and who's with who? I'm remaining, watching the two. I'm, I'm going to see if I can go find Nessa and Riku. So you're going to head in the woods nearby? Okay. Uh, yeah. You're I guess heading so. to the church? I'm going to my cabin, and then I'll cut through the woods to the church. Okay. You know I didn't like what how he was talking about the church, so I'm going with... Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> going with him to the church? William. William, yeah. um, William? okay. Uh, I'm going to... I, well, I'm going to say to them, I'm like, I'm going to go find Nessa and Riku, and I'll bring them back to you. And then we can regroup and come up with another plan to find the others. That sounds like but the, the best option. And the rendezvous point is the main hall, you said? I was going to go to the main hall, but are we doing the boathouse? Um, well, I might, well, I might just, like, I might just bring those two back here, and then we'll all meet you at the main hall after. Sounds we gotta like find a, a way to get our boy Trent and fucking Gary there. <laughs> You do know that there is a golf cart in the boathouse. That's right. You is don't it... have keys, though. <sighs> do it. do, do I we see know the... who does? Probably. Philip. <sighs> to, he, he's in charge of the food, so he would need it to drive. Uh, would any of us know how to hotwire a golf cart? <laughs> uh, Trent, probably. <laughs> I was Yeah, Trent. We should and you. Come up. <laughs> you would know. So... You're not very good at it, but you would know. You could try if you want, or you could try and get Trent to do it. I mean, Trent, like, I doubt he's going to wake up. So, uh... <laughs> I'm going to shake him. You're going to shake him? <laughs> yeah. Like, not, like, aggressively, but, like, Trent, we need you right now. You're up. Uh, 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 and he blinks his eyes open, looks around. Where, where are we? We're in the- <laughs> Not about that right now, bro. We need you to hotwire this golf cart for us. You know how to do that? Uh, why? Because we need to get you and fucking Gary out of here. I can hotwire it. Yeah. Oh my God. Can you open the bay doors? Or at yeah, least we, one of them. We can do that. Yeah. Just uh, tell us what to do. You don't have to get up. No, no, I should be fine. Here, Trent, this will help. I'll pull out the uh, painkillers from my jacket. I'll give him some, and then I'll uh, eat a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, it does help. I didn't know we were doing painkillers yeah. tonight. <laughs> yeah. It helps. Trent gets up. Um, he's still in pain, obviously. I mean, Tylenol can only do so much. Um, but he does make his way over, and he'll start working on the... Uh, the golf cart. Nice. And you guys, there is um, some electrical switches to open the bay doors. They're electrical. So are you going to open one? Um, Ooh, good job, Trent. We'll wait till the golf cart is uh, yeah, hot wired. Okay. Okay. You yeah. see him kind of like get down on his side and lean underneath. And he like pries open one of the, like a little panel and a bunch of wires pop out. <clears> and you see him like rummage through his pocket and he find like a really old Boy Scout knife. And he like pa- pulls it open and he starts cutting and then you hear like crack. And then, like, a gentle, like, purr as the engine comes, like, roars to life all of a sudden, and the lights flicker on, and the whole room is lit up as the golf cart comes to life. And he Sick. says, Oh, there. And then he, like, slowly, like, gets up and just collapses into the little back, uh, trunk space area where the water is supposed to be kept when Philip drives around. He just falls in there, like, limps in. Oh, and passes out again. <laughs> okay, time to go. No. What a trooper. Open the doors. Okay, you um, open the bay doors. Uh, for a moment, we, like, your heart seizes because you're expecting something to be there. 
but all is fine. You um, see the lake and the woods curling around it. Uh, there's uh, Shiver Island just like 100, 200 yards in the middle of the lake. Is uh, the glow still on the island? You never saw it before. Are you? But you roll I... a perception check with disadvantage. You're far away now. 27 or 21. <laughs> you see a gentle glow on Shiver Island. Cool. Uh, um, you don't know. You know that there is like a small fire pit there. You were supposed to go there for a camp sing-along on Sunday night, uh, but no one should be using it now. It seems kind of weird. Other than that, nothing. You see nothing. Who's going to take this golf cart? I mean, you should probably take a Trent. I mean, not a Trent. <laughs> Kenneth. Kenneth. Sweet stuff. I'll take it, and I'll uh, I'll throw Gary and Trent in, into it, and I'll go find the others and bring them up to the hall. And then drive back and get more people. <laughs> Maybe just stay at the hall. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what about Jessica and Philip and Justin? Until we know where they are, it's best to stick together. That's a good point. And also, Jessica didn't play <laughs> past the pigskin earlier. That kind of was very weird. How about this, Kenneth? When this is all over, I'll play pigskin with you. <laughs> I'll throw the pigskin with you. That'd be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Stellar. <laughs> Fucking rad. Um, uh, so Trent like kind of fell into the, the golf cart and he's like sitting there right passed out. Trent's passed out in the back. Yeah. Okay. There's room for maybe you can put Gary and one more person in there. It's pretty spacious. Okay. So like four people kind of thing? Or three? three? Three in the back, and then there's two front seats. Okay. So in total, you could carry five. Okay. Uh, so, Trent's back there. Uh, so, I'm going to help me carry fucking Gary's lifeless body onto this <laughs> <laughs> golf cart. I'll help him. I'll haul him up. Okay. So, so a pair of you, no strength check needed. Okay. He's still a teenager. A big teenager, but a yeah. teenager all the same. Two, so, two men carrying me. So, fine. put him in the back. Okay. One more um, person gets in the back, and then two can sit in the front. All right, I will hop in on the driver's seat. And I'm like, Father Ferguson, you're going to follow us to go find fucking Nessa and Riku? We should see where they are. And we probably could cram all of us onto this cart and make it all the way up to the lodge. You're right. That would be probably the best action to take. Um, I'll go with you. Awesome. You need the Awesome. Right Totally, yes. Okay, so who's in the golf cart? Uh, me, Father F- Ferguson, Two Brother Ferguson. people. Um, yeah, and then Trent and Gary, so the four of us. That's it. But we're going to find those two, and then hopefully okay. we can cram everyone on there. And you two are heading to the church? Yep. Okay. okay. Perfect. We will start with nice the... brisk jog through the woods. All right, we'll start with uh, Riku. <laughs> Things are getting steamy, yeah. my friend. Yeah, Literally, yeah. as yeah. fog begins to settle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, I won't go into too much detail. You guys are kind of in the middle of it. Um, she's on top because you're a weeb. That's awesome. uh, still wearing her bra. You haven't earned that right yet. Uh, I don't want to. Oh my god. Okay. Um, just don't go play it. Roll a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have advantage? No. Okay. Uh, no, don't roll. I'm fucking with you. Fuck. Uh, anyway, the point is, roll a perception check with disadvantage. Oh, God. Eight. Eight? Eight. You are too enthralled. I am very enthralled. Uh, to notice the hulking figure has made his way between the trees. As these people are figuring out their plan, <clears throat> he knew where to go. He heard the, the moans. More than what uh, Scary Gary got out of her. Fucking you know? But right. uh, you, you don't even notice the hulking figure until it's too late. And you see a flash of silver metal and then like a sickening like... And then you look up as like the hulking figure stands behind and uh, Ness's head slowly oh slides off God, the neck dude. and collapses on I her told head. you! Oh my God, I said he's going to come in and slice off her head! And it collapses on your chest mid-moan. Oh, your erection is gone by the way <laughs> it's gone both oh. heads have... <laughs> but this whole <laughs> this hulky figure stands above you blood dripping down the, the sharp edge and from there onto the grass as 
some of it pours out of Ness's throat and begins to spill down her chest as her body collapses off to the side. And there's a moment of silence where it's like kind of like almost awkward, but definitely terrifying. <laughs> Is he going to attack me? He's standing there at the moment. Okay, I'm going to phase into the fucking ground. You're going to phase into the ground? I'm phase into the fucking ground. Okay, you only have 30 feet of movement. That is fine. I'm just going to stay there. <laughs> okay, you take 1d10 force damage. Okay. As you melt away into the earth. What the fuck? Seven. Take seven damage. Okay. But you are safe from harm for the next six seconds. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Until you either move out. Okay. I'm What's gonna, the plan? How do I know which direction the boathouse is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. You did not make yeah, it far into the woods okay. before you guys were going at it. I'm going to uh, just move as far as I can. In okay. That direction. Okay. Uh, are you going to... How many time, how, how long are you going to stay under? Because you take force damage every six seconds. How long will it take me to get to the boathouse? Uh, running through dirt like that, I'd say three rounds of combat. So, 18 seconds. Okay. I'll just do the first time underground and then come back up and just run above ground. Okay, so take one more 1d10 and force okay. damage. Then. Two. Okay, and then nice. as you take that, pop back up out of the ground... <laughs> A little shaken. You don't do that too often. Uh, usually only in emergencies. Mm, that's uh, fucking emergency. That's definitely an emergency. <laughs> uh, and you're running. You so miraculously, your pants are around your waist. You could probably pull them up, so you're not completely yeah, embarrassed. Right, I... um, you start booking it towards the boathouse. A little, a little upset because you know the girl of your dreams literally got beheaded on top of you. Oh my god, I am straight up traumatized for the rest of my life. <laughs> that was pretty horrifying. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you just did that to me. And then, <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> yep. uh, you're covered in blood, by the way. Your face, your chest, your dick. Uh, <laughs> and then that's when you see, hear a roaring sound like an engine, and then you see the golf cart veer, tear down the path. And are you going to try and call him over? Yeah, I'll okay. I'm going to fucking uh, right in front. Wait, I'm going to pull my pants out. Gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you're like, hustling to like buckle yourself up. You're my still in the trees. You're my three coats. You're hard to see. Your form is flickering in and out of existence as you're maintaining control. Do Make I see a him? perception check? Okie dokie, oh, Artichoke. Yeah, no uh, disadvantage or anything because okay. you're screaming. Yeah. Uh, 16. 16. I need you to also make a perception check. Okay. <clears throat> also, he's focused on driving, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm driving, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. What was it? That's 19. 19. You see uh, a very disturbed looking Riku r- running towards the edge of the pathway, covered in blood, hustling to uh, do his pants up. And for a brief moment, you think, for some reason, you think you see through him, but that's ridiculous and it's back to normal. And he's like rushing, he's like screaming. Yep. <laughs> Riku, my guy, uh, where is Nessa? She's gone. Where did she go? <laughs> She's dead. She's fucking dead. I can't. I can't keep up my character anymore. I'm. I'm too fucking disturbed. So I just. Oh. Oh shit. Uh, She's dead. Oh fuck. Uh. Was it that big medicine yeah. bro with the he, knife? Yeah. He had his machete and he chopped her head off and blood all over me and oh. we gotta we gotta go. All right. We gotta go. Hop in the seat and I, buckle up. Okay. I, you leap into the back and then you see scary Gary bleeding from the ear just like you left him but you also see Trent uh, with a his uh, right shoulder is bandaged up and you can see like red seeping through the white cloth as he's still wow. sort of bleeding Jesus yeah That's apparently shit. shit went down after you yeah. went and got laid yeah, yeah. Uh, but you don't see <clears throat> William or uh, Todd okay so I fuck it. I, as soon as he gets in I'm just gonna book her down the path and okay, where are you guys headed? Uh, heading towards the hall. And I am yeah. frantically keeping watch for the big Okay. Um, you're veering. You can hear the sound of gravel underneath your whirring tires as yeah. you speed around corners. You drift and you send dirt kicking up into the air. Hey, yeah. uh, you make a bend. You guys are heading from the boathouse here towards the main hall. Yeah. So you hit the showers, and as you make the turn, the sharp turn, you see a body standing here. This is the hulking figure again. Like right, like dead right in the middle of the road, and I oh, need you God. to I make on the a. Brakes. Oh. oh, you slam on the brakes. Well, like if I like turn the like I turn the corner, he's there, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, how, he's a how... few feet ahead of you. You have time to react if you want, or you can slam on the brakes. Oh, run him over. Um. What? Uh. 
so if I'm turning and he's there, um, is there a lot of room where I could like swerve around him at all? Like, I where... need you to make a performance check. Okay, can and will do. Uh, that is a twenty-four. Twenty-four easily. <laughs> uh, you veer. All right. Gonna... Uh, left, and you actually go all the way. You drop down off the road, make a quick like a U-turn around the outhouse that's nearby, Did and you. you... <laughs> that's us <laughs> you veer back up veer back up and you hit the gravel and then your tires skid for a second but then you're speeding away again yes and you look behind you and the figure slowly turns around i do like the hang loose symbol <laughs> <laughs> oh that was fucking sick for us. <laughs> awesome uh yeah so you're speeding up towards the main hall now you'll be there in seconds and meanwhile running up towards the church is todd and william so about halfway to the to the church when we're still in the wood. Like, are we walk- running through the woods? He said he's going to the cabin first, right? Yeah. You need to get some stuff? You guys make it there, and if you're running, it won't take long. So, I burst in the so, cabin. Oh, you're yeah, while something? we were running there, I was going to, like, wait, 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 wait. Did you hear that? Did I actually hear anything? Uh, no. Wait. Shh, shh, shh. What? Over there. Do you see that? What do you see? Like, straight ahead, right there. And then while he's left, I take out my knife and stab him. Try to kill him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Make a, a roll to hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. You God. look. You have no reason to distrust this man. Uh, you look into the trees, and then all of a sudden you, hear, you feel like a sharp tingle. And then an explosion of pain in your side as you look down. You see that you've been fucking shanked. Uh, deal damage. Cool. So what you do... Is the knife just 1d4? Uh, a knife... Yeah, one second. But you you wrote the hit, right? Yeah, that was two hit. No, yeah, no. so now you... That's double, right? Or it's two hits. Uh, you just double the amount on your rolled dice. Oh, okay. You have a plus two knife, which is, yeah, just a D4. It's D4. Okay. Yeah. So roll a D4, double what you rolled. Don't double your additional, yeah. so like your plus two or anything. It's three plus... So it's six. Uh, wait, so plus... it'd be three plus five. Wait, no, uh, six normal, then plus five. Okay, so you roll this, so, so that's double. three, yeah. Yeah. double it, that's six, plus the two is eight. Yeah, plus three for my dex. So, so eleven. Yeah, you deal 11 points of damage. Cool. <laughs> this is fine. Shit. God. This got dark. Oh no, we got a murderer Whoa. and another murderer. <laughs> Slightly shorter. Since I'm running and I had the ore out, I'm immediately turning and smacking him in the face with the ore. Okay, it's... roll to hit. You're too close to really dodge out of the way. Seven. What's your AC? Wait. 13. You miss. It swings in front of you, uh, Todd, and you have just enough time to back away. You lose your knife. It's in his side, okay. uh, but you back away just as it makes a berth in front of you, and you feel the wind whip across your face, and now you're face to face with him. And I start running towards the cabin. I take my okay. take the gun out of my pocket, take off the safety or whatever it was, and just shoot. Okay, you are not proficient, so just roll to hit. Okay. Okay. Like oh, a, do I have an opportunity? Wait, opportunity so, attack? One second. No, I know what you mean. Attack right. of opportunity. <clears throat> oh, you have no weapon, though. You'd have to pull out the gun, which requires that reaction. I could still oh, trip you, him, oh, though. Are you gonna tr- okay, yeah, try and do a melee attack. Okay. That's just that plus like, your strength. This is the attack of opportunity. Right? What the hell's happening? So just roll a d20 and add your... <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then plus what? Strength. So three. Three? Ah, oh, you can't quite reach him, so you try to, like, grab him. As he's running away or kick your foot out, but he's too quick and he's running down the path now. And that's when you reach for the gun? Yeah. Okay. I'm play a classic game of William Tell. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it takes you a second to figure it out. So he's gotten a fair distance away. because, uh, And then you aim and shoot. So roll a d20 okay. and add dex. No proficiency, though. That's a... Uh... It's a plus three gun, so 15. And then whatever your dex is. And then that's the plus three... Oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so 15 plus another 3, it's... so 18. 18? Okay. So the gun deals 1d8 plus 3 plus dex. And I'm trying to, like, make him fall with the 2. Okay. It's 5 plus... Plus 3 plus dex. 6, so 11 more. 11 more damage. You are not expecting this at all, but you hear a 
loud gunshot that rings through the trees, sending birds scattering up from the branches. And then for a moment, you feel like, oh, he missed. But then you feel the pain. And uh, where'd you shoot him? His legs. His, his leg? Well, one of his legs, yeah. Yeah, you feel it explode through your thigh. Um, doesn't feel good. Uh, you stumble, make an acrobatics. Or no, make, yeah, acrobatics check. That should be fine. 13. 13. You manage to stay on your feet. Uh, barely though, and it hurts now, and you're definitely slowed down. Uh, you got shot in the leg. Uh, you're running. You're still running, right? Yeah. It's painful, but uh, you're an athlete. You can probably keep up the pace. Uh, but now you know that he has a gun, and he's trying um, to kill you. I'm gonna run off the path into the woods. Okay. And as a wood elf, uh, I can attempt to hide even when I'm lightly obscured. Okay, so so I'm gonna try and lose him in the trees. Perfect. Make a stealth check. That's a six. Six? Uh, you can't... You, th- you you don't know if you're hitting or not. You're not really willing to take the chance. Uh, so you just keep running through the trees. Um, you do see him run in. Okay. Are you going to go after him? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then... I'm going to make sure I keep an eye on exactly where he is, and then I'm going to go a little bit off path, and I'm going to yell using my actor ability to try to pass myself off as uh, Riku. Riku, saying, uh, William, William, did you hear that? What happened? What happened? Are you okay? Well, since I know that Riku doesn't give a shit about me, I'm not going to trust that at all. Make Sorry. a de- I'm just really make a deception check. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. make a deception check. We'll see. You contest with insight. I'm gonna use lucky on that. Okay, that's your one, one out of three luck for the day. Oh, actually, I have advantage on that. So. Oh, you do. Well, so then my second was a ten. Don't use your luck. So yeah, yeah my use second it. was a ten. Um, Plus your deception. So nineteen. Twenty-three. You see through the ruse and you keep running. I'm going to shoot. You're going to shoot? <laughs> um, he is lightly obscured, so you have disadvantage on the attack roll. And he's running. So, disadvantage when you try to shoot him. Okay. So, roll the d20, add your dex. Fucking hell. That's a 6 plus... 6? 12? I have 12 AC. It's a miss. You... <sighs> and it, I keep just running after him. Yeah, you hear a thud and then wood explodes as the bill, uh, bullet hits a tree beside your head and you know better than to stick around yep and where are you running to i'm running to the cabin your cabin yeah okay it doesn't take you long to get there you're chasing after him yeah. uh i can say you probably would have made it there uh just as he's closing the distance uh what are you going to try and do what's the plan like where am i from the cabin so you guys have been running through the woods here you were following the path. You got shot, so you booked it into the woods, and he followed in behind you. He tried to come around, so you would have been passing through the kids' cabins, uh, and then you would have just made it here, and you'd be here. So you're about okay. 150 feet away, and you're right at the cabin. I'm going to run in the cabin. I'm going to use the oar to bar the door. It opens outwards. You would know that. Yeah. You do have a backpack with rope. Hey, <laughs> Actually, it's cabin eight, right? You open the door and there's already rope tied around the doorknob, oh, yeah. dangling loosely, and you see That's weird right. markings all over the floor. I ignore that for now, but I do, I do tie the door closed, and I'm going to grab my bulletproof bag. Make, make a survival check. See how good the knot is. My rope is helpful. Hey, twenty-two. Okay, you remember your training. That's a perfect knot. There's no way he can get that open that easily. Uh, and you have plenty of time to put on your safety vest. I'm going to grab my vest. And I also have my badge in there, too. Yep. And uh, is there another exit oh. out of this cabin? There is. The only exit is one of the two windows on either side. Is there? Is one of the windows facing away from where he would be coming? Yeah. One is facing out deeper into the woods. One is facing towards the lake. Okay. So, I'll open so neither up. is facing him, actually. Yeah. I'll open the one deeper into the woods. I'll climb out of that, and I'll close it behind me. Okay. Can I hear this? Uh, make a perception check with disadvantage, because he's on the other side of the building from you. Okay. I fail. You fail? Uh, as far as you know, he's just in there trying to hide it out, wait it out. Okay. 
Uh, so as you approach the door, uh, you don't see any movement, but you're assuming he's probably just hiding. Uh, nowhere for your little prey to run. Meanwhile, you have already jumped out the window and you are running deeper into the woods, or what's the point? I'm heading towards the church. Are you gonna, you're gonna curve and head straight up towards the church? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you jiggle the door handle, you can feel it move, but it's hard and, like, difficult to twist like there's something wrapped around it. Uh, make a strength check. Four. You can't get it open. And he's getting farther away. What's your plan? Um... Are you going to try the door again, or are you... Kick that bitch down. I'm going to listen really intently to see if I can actually hear any breathing or, in- or anything. Inside? Yeah. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, 18. It is dead silent in there. I hear nothing. I'm going to see... I think I would assume he got out somehow. You have time to look. You want to check yeah. the windows? Yeah. Then? You do see the one window facing every the facing inside, facing the lake. Uh, you can't see anything inside. You come to the left and you see the one on the left side is open. Okay. So I look in and don't see anything. You don't see anything. Okay. There's some weird candles and drawings on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you close the window behind you? Oh, did you say you closed the window? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. never mind. Sorry. Take I mean, that back. You probably see blood. That's true. Oh, yeah. He has a yeah. wound. Uh, and you did roll 19. Yeah. So you see the window is closed, but you do see a few <clears throat> droplets of blood running along the side of the building. Okay, I'm going to run that way. Okay. Um, you don't hear anything. He's definitely got a head start now. Do I see blood anywhere? Uh, no, it's too dark. Dark vision. Oh, you have dark vision? Even then, I don't think it would bleed that much. Okay. Uh, dark vision is just shades of gray. Too, yeah. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. you wouldn't see colors. Okay. So so you don't see it. Uh, meanwhile, ripping along the pathway, we have <laughs> Kenneth. <laughs> fucking get it. Hanging dude, Ken as he dude. books it down the road towards the main <laughs> hall. You, uh, roll perception check, everybody. All three of you. Eight. 30, 20. What, what is this? Perception. F- First sound. And I, so, uh... You have advantage. Yeah. Uh, 11. Oh, man. I feel like I know what some people are now. Uh, 12. <laughs> 12? Uh, the only one who didn't hear anything is Riku, who's Too depressed. Too focused on my fucking trauma. Your trauma. Stop but you guys all hear the loud gunshot. Oh. And then you see the birds flutter up from the trees in the direction of cabin 8. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna start Yo. praying in my seat. Bro Ferguson, <laughs> what was that? Bro Ferguson. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I don't want to find out. I'm just, I, I'm going to pray to the Lord and I'm going to hope he answers my prayers. Let's drop these bros off and, at the main hall and maybe I'll go drive them down and check it out. With me? Uh, whoever wants to come, but hopefully someone so I don't die alone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Kenneth, I will g- <laughs> I will go with you if no one else does, but if someone else does, I, I will remain in, in the hall and pray. Thank you, bro, Ferguson. Uh, I will never leave someone alone. Yeah, you guys make it there in no time. You right. turn sharp as turn sharply to the right as you hit the brakes, and it comes to a screeching halt, sending like a wave cloud of dirt nice. into the air. Well, it's been decked out with four-wheel drive, baby. All right, <laughs> yeah. Um, is it- you reach the... Lights are still on. Everything looks totally fine. I mean, okay. the door's closed. You don't hear any loud noises. Except you do hear footsteps coming from down the other path, and you see Jessica, uh, bow and arrow, quiver strapped around her shoulder, and she's like, booking it down the fucking <laughs> dirt way. She's screaming. She's waving her arms. Jessica, catch! Oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! This is a time for games. I heard gunshots. Someone tried to kill me. What happened? I was at the archery range, avoiding you. <laughs> <laughs> when all of a sudden nice. someone shot at me with some bow and arrows, I fucking I barely got out alive, man. Some giant dude dressed That's... in like a, some flannel shirt scared the shit out of me. That is absolutely what a coincidence there was this guy big bro with in flannel with a machete and cut our bro trent up in the shoulder he is badly injured also i fucked up gary because he's been <laughs> quite a dick to me and nessa um we also have riku and by the way nessa is dead <laughs> 
<laughs> she's Sorry. like, you can see like her, the gears are spinning in her head. She's having a mild panic. Attack. Also, Todd Toddley and Will went down to their cabin, and then they're heading to the church to to see what's up with that old man. Let them go alone. Well, they really wanted to go check it out because Bro Ferguson over here said don't go there, but they're like, we're gonna go check it out anyway. She's freaking out. She grabs you by her shirt. Someone told you with a murder round not to go to a place and you just let two people leave and go to the place. Yo, I don't take responsibility because I'm not in charge. <laughs> That's a damn good thing you're not in charge. Oh, God. And she starts walking up the main hall. She's like, we have to get to the radio something. Follow me, idiot. Where... Where are you going? Into the main hall, you... Ugh, and she kicks the door open and walks okay, inside. Uh, well, I guess I'll just carry fucking Gary by myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, you I have go, Brother Ferguson and you also have Riku yeah, 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 I know. that was, It was a... I'm, yeah. I'm just... I'm pissed because Jessica's kind of being rude. <laughs> I don't really fully understand why. <laughs> um, I say to these bros, I'm like, yo, you want to help me carry Gary and Trent inside? I'm... I'm not very strong, but I can try. At this point, I've kind of, on the drive over, like, regained my composure, so I'm back full weed mode again. <laughs> so I'm like, if this is a burden, I must bear. As he covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> covered in blood, yeah. Still freaked out, but coping. So I'll grab his leg. Actually, I, I should probably go check on Jessica. Uh, she seems a bit shaken. And well, you're all heading in anyway, aren't you? Inside, yeah. yeah. Look, Maybe you carry the bodies... Uh, well, we, we'll, we'll get we we'll get Gary, but if you could Trent. like kind of shake Trent and like guide him as and walk him in, that'd be that'd be such a bra moment. I guess <laughs> fucking gold. Oh god! All right, sweet. So, uh, yeah, Doug and I will we'll say sake of brevity, you manage to carry the two yeah. limp bodies in. Trent will eventually wake up and probably hobble his way in. Yeah. And it's more of a matter of carrying Gary's heavy frame. Yeah, well, we were going to carry him, and I was, was hoping he would, like, kind of... help kinda, Trent. Mm-hmm. You'll help Trent? Walk him in. Help Trent, but yeah. I'm going to wait until they carry the body. Okay. Well, one by one, you all make your way inside and close the door behind you. And you see Jessica talking hurriedly with Philip, who looks reasonably freaked out now by the fireplace um kitchen knife in his hand because he was still preparing food for tomorrow morning he's just like freaking out now he's like what what, what are you guys what what are you guys talking about you tell me there's dead people tell me there's dead people in the camp my bro how's it going not kenneth (laughs) my guy we don't really have time for that um apparently ness is dead yeah, I don't know what happened, but she ran off with Riku, and now she's dead by that giant. Philip looks over at Riku's knife. bloodstained body. I feel like I know what happened. Look at him; these guys covered in blood. Did you did you kill Nessa? No. Oh my god! <laughs> I keep my cool. Um, I feel like we were in the woods in the throes of passion. The hell, you were sleeping with Nessa. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even get with her. <laughs> <laughs> Philip tried to kill with Nessa. <laughs> Philip, you're supposed to be responsible. Uh, we were in the throes of passion, and this big flannel dude came and fucking <laughs> <laughs> cut her head off right <laughs> on top of me. Oh, holy mother Mary. This is absolutely fucking insane. Oh, where are the other two? Where's, uh, where's Todd? There's, where's Todd and Will? Uh, they went to go check out the cabin and then head to the church because the old something's up with the old man at the church. There's nothing to see at the church. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, is Jessica right. with the group or is she? Yeah, Jessica's she's, inside. Yeah. She's, uh, in right. fact, she'll be like, "We have to go to the church. We have to we get on the, the. There's another golf cart in the parking lot. We gotta grab that. We gotta head to the church. We gotta help them out. They shouldn't have gone alone. You guys are fucking stupid." <laughs> what do you mean they? They're not alone. They got each other. Yeah. She just shakes her head. Justin's upstairs right now. He's trying to get the radio to work. Apparently, he didn't fix it like I told him to. Brothers and sisters, we are not going to the church. <laughs> You do not want to go to there. You can stay yeah. here if you want. We said we said we'd meet him up here. So why don't we just wait for them and have some food? <laughs> Philip's like, actually, I could really go for a sandwich right now. That sounds delicious. Uh, no, you-, you guys are so stupid. Jessica yells. What She's was like- supposed to be for supper tonight, <laughs> Philip? <laughs> you, what are you talking about? You ate earlier. Shut up, Jessica. Says. <laughs> Listen, but second supper, Philip. <laughs> she ignores you now, <laughs> and she says, "That's it." 
outside, get in a cart. All of you, we're going to go save your stupid friends. I will remain here. <laughs> I'm not going back to that Fine. Church. Ferguson can stay. And then she you walks... You can watch over Gary. <laughs> you can watch over Gary and Trent. So that might be a half bad idea. <laughs> she, she's so done with you right now. Um, actually, it's a good idea, though. Okay, Ferguson and Justin, you stay here. Keep an eye on the fucked up dudes. Um, uh, and then the rest of us, come on. And then she That's kicks the door open. what I thought I said. <laughs> <laughs> and one by one, you all file out towards the um, golf cart. But can I quickly raid the kitchen for a knife? Like a cleaver or something? For uh, as a weapon? Yes. Is it? There's several kitchen knives. Can I find the like biggest, sharpest cleaver possible? Uh, there is no cleaver. They're just normal cutting knives. All right, you didn't well, really I bring a buffet or anything. All right, well, I find the sharpest knife. Okay, uh, yeah, there's several knives. It. They're all around the same size, so you can... Test each one. <laughs> you can... <laughs> Snatch a knife up if you want. Nice, I will. Perfect. Okay. And as you all file out one by one, that is where we'll end this episode of Bat 20. Woo! Let's get some food.